For this example, suppose that y equals u plus square root u and u equals x to the third plus 17, we're going to use the chain rule to find the derivative of the y with respect to x, then evaluate dy by dx at x equals 2. If you recall the chain rule, if you have y in terms of x, or in terms of u, and u in terms of x, you find the derivative of y with respect to u, find the derivative of the u with respect to x, multiply them to get dy by dx. And another note, when you see this pattern, pretend like you have the quantity dy divided by the quantity du. And similar to the du divided by dx, but it's technically it's not the quantity divided by quantity, but just the symbol that looks that way as a division form. Now, you can treat this like you cancel the du and du as you multiply the numbers, like for example, two over three multiplied by three over five, three and three reduce, and the answer is gonna be two over five. But you use the same pattern for the derivative notation, okay? So this is, form number one of the chain rule. So our goal is to find dy by dx at x equals two. We have y as u plus square root u. That means the dy by du is the derivative with respect to u of the quantity u plus square root u. I'm gonna write square root u as u to the power one half for our convenience when we use the power rule to find the derivative. So then my dy by du is one plus one over two u to the power negative one half. We're gonna set it aside because this is dy by du. So make a note, we already got dy by du. Next, we're gonna find the derivative of the u with respect to x. I'm gonna use another color to make it different. So then for the u, which is in the form of x to the third plus 17, then we find du by dx, which is d by dx or the derivative of x to the third plus 17 that give us three x squared. At this point, we have du by dx. So then to obtain the derivative of the y with respect to x, we're gonna take this portion and this portion and multiply them, okay? By the chain rule, so the dy by dx equals the dy by du, which is one plus one half u to the negative one half, multiply by the derivative of the u with respect to x, which is three x squared. We got the pattern done. Next, we're gonna bring everything back into the x term because eventually we're gonna replace x with the value two. What is u in terms of x? u is provided in the term of x to the third plus 17. Therefore, we're gonna re replace the u from the first group of derivative there with the term x to the third plus 17 to the power negative one half and then multiply by three x squared. We have dy by dx or the derivative of the y with respect to x for any x. Next, we're gonna replace it with the value two with x equals two, okay? I'm gonna write over here. So dy by dx, where x equals two, equals the quantity one plus one half, multiplied by two to the third plus 17 to the power negative one half, close the parentheses, three multiplied by two to the power second, and then clean up one at a time. The quantity, the two to the power three, this is the value eight, and eight plus 17, that is 25. 25 raised to the power negative one half is the same as one over 25 to the power one half. 
which is 1 over square root 25 or 1 over 5. Okay, I'm going to make some room here. Just try not to squeeze everything um, in one small space here. All right, so feel better now. So then uh, that means in the parentheses for this portion, we have the number 1 over 5, okay? The portion, that means proportion to the power negative 1 half. So we have 1 plus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 5. And then multiply by 3 times 4. This is 4. 4 times 3, that is uh, 12. So I'm going to clean up this a little bit. We're going to be 12 right here. And then simplify the number one more time. 1 over 2 times 1 over 5, that is 1 over 10, multiplied by 12. And 1 plus 1 over 10, that is 10 over 10. So you can do like you multiply top and bottom by 10 and 10. So we get 10 plus 1, which is 11 over 10, multiplied by 12 and reduce a little bit more, 10 and 12 reduce, two goes to both of them. So this is five, this is six. And the, sim the most simplified solution is gonna be 66 over five. As the derivative of the y with respect to x as x equals two.